Pluto, the mysterious and undersized planet located on the outer edges of our solar system, continues to captivate astronomers and space enthusiasts alike. Recent reports have suggested a possible collision with Neptune, raising concerns among experts and astronomers. Notable scientists like Neil deGrasse Tyson and Michio Kaku have raised alarms about the potential consequences of such a cosmic encounter. But how did Pluto find itself on a potential collision course with its distant neighbor? And what could this mean for us here on Earth? Let's explore this unfolding event. Once considered the ninth planet, Pluto was later reclassified as a dwarf planet due to its peculiar orbit. Despite this reclassification, Pluto remains a source of fascination and intrigue. Recent predictions by leading experts have highlighted a disturbing similarity between Pluto's orbit and Neptune's. These scientists warn of a possible collision between the two planets, which could pose a risk to Earth. Pluto's orbit around the Sun is marked by its unusual characteristics. It takes an impressive 248 years to complete one orbit, and since its discovery in 1930, it has yet to finish a full revolution. Its orbit is highly elliptical and tilted at a 17-degree angle to the ecliptic plane, which makes it more eccentric than most other planets. An interesting feature of Pluto's orbit is that it crosses Neptune's path for approximately 20 years during each orbit, with Pluto moving closer to the Sun than Neptune at certain points. This goes against what we would expect based on their positions in the solar system. So, why hasn't a collision occurred between Pluto and Neptune? The answer lies in the gravitational influences exerted by other planets. The study of Pluto's orbit began soon after its discovery, presenting a puzzle for astronomers. Unlike most planets, whose orbits remain relatively flat and aligned near the ecliptic plane, Pluto's unique orbit crosses Neptune's. Despite this, the two planets have never collided. This is due to a complex gravitational dance, known as the three-body problem, that governs their movements. The three-body problem refers to the challenge of understanding the gravitational interactions among three celestial bodies, such as Pluto, Neptune, and the Sun. This interaction explains the complex orbits and gravitational forces at play. Terms like libration, semi-major axis, and the COSI mechanism help explain this cosmic puzzle. Astrophysicists argue that a libration mechanism keeps Pluto and Neptune in stable orbits, ensuring that when Pluto crosses Neptune's path, it is always positioned at least 90 degrees away from Neptune, thus avoiding any potential collision. The COSI mechanism adds an extra layer of protection, ensuring that Pluto's orbit remains stable by positioning it above Neptune's orbital plane. This complex gravitational arrangement explains why Pluto's orbit, while seemingly irregular, remains stable over long timescales. In the late 1980s, computer simulations revealed that, despite Pluto's chaotic-looking orbit, it remains relatively stable over thousands of years. Minor deviations in its orbit could lead to significant changes over millennia, but these deviations are kept in check by the gravitational influences of other planets. Neptune, for instance, completes three orbits for every two of Pluto, which contributes to maintaining the stability of Pluto's orbit. Jupiter, with its immense gravitational pull, also plays a role in shaping Pluto's path. Saturn, while having a smaller influence, still contributes to the overall stability of Pluto's orbit. These factors work together to keep Pluto on a predictable course, even over billions of years. Without such forces, the solar system could be prone to greater instability, with more collisions or bodies being ejected from their stable orbits. Understanding Pluto's orbit is crucial, especially in discussions about its potential future encounter with Neptune. These insights help us understand the dynamic nature of our solar system and the forces that shape planetary motion. Pluto's unusual orbit serves as a fascinating example of how even seemingly chaotic orbits can be stabilized through complex gravitational interactions and orbital mechanics. The study of Pluto's orbit offers valuable lessons about the universe's unpredictable nature. It shows how even minor changes in a planet's position or velocity can significantly alter its long-term trajectory. This dynamic quality of Pluto's orbit is a reminder of the delicate balance of forces at work in space. Through virtual simulations, astronomers can examine how small changes in Pluto's orbit could lead to significant shifts over time, 
highlighting the importance of understanding these cosmic phenomena. Despite the apparent randomness of Pluto's orbit, it remains stable over billions of years, suggesting an underlying order beneath the surface. Predicting the future paths of celestial bodies, particularly those with irregular orbits like Pluto, is challenging. The inherent unpredictability of these systems makes long-term forecasts difficult, as even minor inaccuracies in initial conditions can lead to drastically different outcomes. However, computer models allow us to explore and predict the movements of planets, even if they remain uncertain in the long term. The unpredictable nature of Pluto's orbit serves as a reminder of the ever-changing nature of the universe. While we have made significant progress in understanding space, Pluto's case highlights the limitations of our knowledge. Understanding the gravitational interactions between massive planets like Neptune and Pluto gives us critical insights into the broader dynamics of the solar system. It shows how each planet's position and movement can influence the stability and trajectory of other bodies. Notwithstanding these complex forces, some renowned astrophysicists, including Neil deGrasse Tyson, have expressed concerns about a possible collision between Pluto and Neptune. Tyson, known for reclassifying Pluto as a dwarf planet rather than a major planet, has voiced his apprehensions about the potential Neil impact Tyson of such an event. offers an intriguing perspective on the secrets of our solar system, particularly in regard to Pluto. Known for his expertise in astronomical mechanics, Tyson sees the reclassification of Pluto not as a diminishment, but as a fundamental shift reflecting our evolving understanding of the celestial bodies orbiting the Sun. His approach to astrophysics emphasizes continuous learning and adaptation, viewing Pluto's complex orbit as a sign of how much more we have yet to discover in space. Tyson believes the fascination with these cosmic questions is what makes astronomy so captivating. Tyson is also acutely aware of how space-related events and discoveries capture the public's attention, and he sees events like Pluto's reclassification and its unusual orbit as opportunities to engage the public's imagination and curiosity about the universe. By delving into the dynamic and sometimes unpredictable aspects of celestial mechanics, Tyson aims to foster a deeper appreciation and excitement for space exploration. His work opens a window for the public to marvel at the wonders and mysteries of the cosmos. Furthermore, Tyson has raised concerns about the potential risks posed by Pluto's erratic orbit. After extensive study, he has warned that the three-body problem, especially Pluto's interactions with Neptune, could pose significant dangers. He suggests that a collision between Pluto and Neptune may be overdue. Such an impact could disrupt the balance of the solar system, leading to catastrophic consequences that could even affect Earth. A collision between these two bodies would be a dramatic and destructive event, releasing immense energy, possibly shattering Pluto due to its smaller size and icy composition. Debris from such a crash could scatter across the solar system, posing potential threats to other planets and their moons. Neptune's atmosphere and orbit might also be altered depending on the specifics of the impact. Michio Kaku, a prominent theoretical physicist known for his work in string theory and science advocacy, offers another fascinating perspective on the situation. Kaku views the study of Pluto and its orbit as a glimpse into the future of space exploration. Understanding the complex gravitational interactions and orbital characteristics of bodies like Pluto, according to Kaku, can provide critical insights for future space missions. This knowledge would help navigate the solar system more effectively, anticipate potential dangers, and plan missions to the outer reaches of our planetary neighborhood and beyond. Kaku emphasizes that the lessons learned from studying Pluto's orbit can also be applied to explore other celestial bodies, providing a roadmap for approaching and understanding distant worlds. Kaku frequently highlights the fundamental connection between celestial mechanics and theoretical physics, particularly in string theory. He believes that the movements and interactions of planets, such as the gravitational relationship between Pluto and Neptune, are not isolated phenomena but are deeply linked to the fundamental laws of physics. Kaku's work in theoretical physics, especially in string theory, seeks to understand these laws at their most fundamental level. He suggests that examining the complexities of celestial mechanics, like Pluto's orbit, could reveal deeper truths about the universe, such as the underlying principles of string theory and gravity. 
Kaku has also addressed the possibility of a Pluto-Neptune collision, relating it to his theories about the universe. Such an event would be significant in cosmology, offering a unique observational opportunity that could enhance our understanding of string theory. String theory, a theoretical framework that replaces point-like particles with one-dimensional strings, aims to describe the fundamental forces and matter in the universe. An impact of this magnitude in the solar system could generate extreme conditions of energy and gravity, providing valuable insights into the behavior of fundamental particles and forces under extreme circumstances. Gravitational waves produced by such a collision could offer crucial data for testing predictions related to string theory, gravity, and space-time. While the direct impact of such an event on Earth would be minimal due to the vast distances involved, its scientific implications could be profound, potentially contributing to our understanding of the universe's fundamental nature as described by string theory and other areas of theoretical physics. Pluto's orbit serves as a unique example of celestial mechanics, showcasing both stability and chaos within our solar system. The specific characteristics of its orbit, influenced by the gravitational forces of neighboring planets, especially Neptune, highlight the unpredictable and dynamic nature of space. The universe is filled with mysteries, and the three-body problem is just one of them. While the likelihood of planetary collisions in space is low, it is not entirely impossible. The way planetary orbits are influenced by various factors, including gravitational interactions, is explained by the three-body problem. In some space systems, such as TRAPPIST-1, which has seven Earth-sized planets, gravitational forces create rhythmic patterns called orbital resonances. Over time, these patterns can destabilize planetary orbits, potentially leading to collisions. While impacts are not currently occurring in systems like TRAPPIST-1, researchers are closely monitoring these dynamics to better understand how planets influence each other's orbits, especially when they are in close proximity. Rogue planets, which drift through space without orbiting a star, present another surprising element. These planets, once part of a star system, are ejected due to gravitational disturbances or other cosmic events like the close passage of another star. Over time, these rogue planets can travel vast distances, potentially entering other star systems. If one were to encounter another planetary system, there is a slight chance it could collide with a planet in that system. However, given the immense and mostly empty nature of space, the likelihood of a rogue planet directly impacting another planet is extremely low. The vastness of interstellar distances and the scarcity of planets in open space act as barriers against frequent collisions. Additionally, rogue planets are relatively rare compared to the number of stars and planets in stable orbits, making such encounters even more unlikely.